Welcome back to Foundation Physical Therapy's YouTube channel. Uh, we have quite a few patients that come in to us and then have recurrent sacroiliac problems or your SI joint. Um, SI joint is kind of down at a kind of belt level, right where your spine meets your, your hips, and you'll feel a point off to the right or off to the left where it's a little bit tender. Um, so a lot of times people say it hurts kind of right here, not necessarily centralized it's the center of our spine, it's down and off to the right. So what you can do, a quick little muscle energy technique that sometimes helps, is to do something we call belt and ball. Now we have a different setup in the clinic, but at home, most people have a legged strap or some sort of belt that they can cinch up and a foam roller. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this foam roller between your knees and take the luggage strap or the belt and put it around your knees. So, come in here, here's my belt. Do this here. You want to cinch this up pretty snug. There shouldn't be a lot of motion. You should feel like as you push out against the belt, your legs don't move very much. And as you squeeze to the inside, they shouldn't move that much either. You just feel the muscles working. So I lay here, I bend the knee a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is keep the feet together. I'm going to squeeze this from and as I squeeze, I feel my adductors and muscles on my inside of my thigh engage. I'm going to hold that for a 10 second count. And then I'm going to reverse that and I'm going to push to the outside, out against the belt for 10 seconds. And when I do this, I feel my, my gluteus medius, my glutes, all these external rotators are in kicking in. And, and the reason this works is there's a lot of muscles in that area that will attach to the, the sacrum, which is part of the SI joint. So then again, I would squeeze for a 10 second count, and I would push out for a 10 second count until I've done it about 10 times. And then reassess my SI pain and see how that feels. So if you have recurrent SI problems um, that you're trying to fix, or it, you know, that's just a quick little something that you can try to basically give yourself some relief at home. Um, so.